Hello there, and welcome to the very first miniature review with Cell Rock Games. Today we're looking at a brand new box set from one of my favorite companies, Wargames Atlantic's Conquistadors. Wargames Atlantic is a younger company who does fantastic work with miniatures. They just celebrated their third birthday and completely moved production from China to the USA. And quite fitting with moving production to the new world, these Conquistadors are their first set made in America. From the very first time these guys were previewed on the Wargames Atlantic Facebook page, I thought they had a ton of potential for one of my oldest, most favorite games, Mordheim. Inside the box, there are two different sprues. You get four of each of them. There's a half sprue with extra head and weapon options, like spears, two-handed swords, bucklers, swords and scabbards, and heads with hats and different helmets for any kind of European Renaissance adventurers, soldiers, or mercenaries. On the main sprue, you find six bodies, many more heads, and a ton of weapons. Look at the amazing detail on the bodies. And with six on each sprue, you get 24 multi-part hard plastic 28mm figures in this box. With a cost per box of $35, and with discounts for multiple box deals, these come out to a cost of $1.45 to $1.10 per mini. You can see on the main sprue we have halberds, spear that could be used for a banner, five muskets, swords, a drum, shields, and crossbows. Look at the crisp details on these bodies. These sprues are top tier quality, and there's so many possibilities all in one box. I'm very excited to start putting them together to build my Mordheim Human Mercenaries Warband. Let's start with this body to build a champion hero. Now there's two things to note. For one, the head connection is a flat on flat. It doesn't have the usual ball and socket, but that's not a big deal. And two, while it does have the integral base, Look at how thin that is. That is a very well done minimal base that will barely add any extra height. You can see that the mold lines are minimal and will clean off very easily with a little work. As a champion, I want him to have a weapon that will help him hit harder and deal more damage. So I'm giving him this two-handed sword here and then this left arm just down by his side. With a lot of connection points on the sprue, the bits are well protected, but do require more work and cleanup. Very beautiful. And on our champion, this great sword will be resting on his shoulder in a more casual pose. And we'll put this left arm just down at his side. And now, like most champions, he needs a head. Because of his relaxed posture, I don't want a head that's screaming, but one that still makes him look tough and experienced. I like this one. A very fine champion that any mercenary warband would be happy to have. Now let's see what else we can make. I'm 
going to use this body to make a captain for my warband. Now one thing I wish this box had but doesn't is pistols. However, it does have the muskets, and I've converted some of them into pistols. I'll show you how you can do that too in an upcoming kit bash and conversions video. I want my captain to look a little heroic, so I'm giving him a sword and a pistol. And then I like this head. These really are amazing minis. Look at how easily that fit together and how good that looks. I made another champion with a halberd, two young bloods with clubs, and three swordsmen with two swords each. This is shaping up to be a really nice warband. Now it's time for my favorite part of mini reviews, kit bashes and conversions to show their potential. Here are five of these conquistadors I've assembled to be in my Mordheim warband. There is a swordsman, a young blood with a club and dagger, two more swordsmen, and a young blood with a hammer. The big thing about these guys is none of their arms are from the conquistadors box. They are all kit bashes from other sets. These arms are from Oathmark Elf Light Infantry, Frostgrave Knights, this swordsman, his arms are Oathmark Human Infantry, and his head, which looks like Prince Charming from Shrek 2, is Wargames Atlantic's Dark Age Irish. And both of these last two's arms are Oathmark Dwarf Light Infantry. Youngblood's head is from Frostgrave Soldiers, and I trimmed it to fit pretty well. And so with simple arm and head swaps, there is a lot you can do with these guys. As we move into size comparisons, one thing to note is how well these fit with another Wargames Atlantic box, their Dark Age Irish. Both the height and proportions match really well. This gives us an interesting opportunity because for games like the Silver Bayonet, you need some filthy, ragged, rundown bandits armed with muskets. So, take a random Irishman. Put a gun in his hands, and bam, instant bandit. He's ragged, he's filthy, he doesn't even have any shoes, but he's got a weapon, and he's ready to do some banditry. Here's how they scale with some older Games Workshop minis. Savage Orc, Mordheim Original Skaven Nightrunner, Chaos Marauder, and Old Orc Shaman. Considering the different base heights, they scale really well with Frostgrave models too. The Barbarians, Soldiers 2, Soldiers, and Cultists. And here with other fantasy models, Wargames Atlantic Goblins, and Skeletons, and Halflings, and an Oathmark Dwarf. And then with some sci-fi minis, you could easily do arm swaps to make Space Conquistadors. Reaper, Space Thug, Stargrave Trooper, and Crew, and Wargames Atlantic Grognard. They scale so well, if you want some renaissance guys with flamethrowers and laser rifles, then you've got it. Finally, I'm not really one for historical games, but here they are with some Perry European Mercenaries and War of the Roses infantry. When I got back into Mordheim almost two years ago, I used these guys as my human mercenaries, with disastrous results. When I first saw these conquistadors, I thought they would be great for more time. And now that I've built some and posed them on a cardboard ruin I made, I don't think you can find a better set to make a Mordheim Human Mercenaries Warband. With a little kit bashing and arm swaps, you can make anything you need. And if you want a human warband for Mordheim, these are exactly what you're looking for. They'd also be perfect Empire soldiers for Warhammer or Age of Sigmar, and excellent for Silver Bayonet. You could get at least two bands for Silver Bayonet out of one box. Most of all though, they are perfect for Mordheim. And I can't wait to have my conquistadors start hunting for weird stone in the City of the Damned.
Thank you for watching, my friends. Until next time.